Morning everybody and the postman's just been and we have a a package from Poland. Nice stamps on here. So if I'm correct this is from our new best chum uh, Peter, I presume that's how you pronounce it, uh, from Pit Lab and this should be one of their OSD and autopilots. So let's take a look and see what we've got. And sure enough in this little box perfectly adequate very well packed we have a pit lab OSD and autopilot let's just hold this up so you can get a better view of what it is now this unit according to the pit lab website which we came across through uh, our other chum at uh, flyingwings.co.uk Rob told me about this guy who makes some very very interesting electronics uh, I'll put the web address up and again in the description so let's have a look and see what we've got in here dear user which is a I'm getting started guide illustrated guide to the board It's all very kind of quite simple, but at least tells us what it is. Uh, but we've got web links for to downloads for the actual again pull this up so you can see uh, pitlab.com FPV system download HTML uh, where I believe we can find some PDF documents covering the installation and the uh, configuration and commissioning of this. So let's just stop here while I go and have a look. Okay, and sure enough, what we have uh, now I've downloaded them are some very, very detailed manuals on every aspect of the pit lab. Good English, easily to easy to understand. So we're, again, we'll look at these in more detail when we actually put the unit into a model. So what's in the box? Right, we've got. Several little circuit boards. Right. The GPS unit. A keyboard, presumably for configuring the OSD. Several connection cables. Yeah, various connectors. And some male to male servo leads for connecting to the receiver. So, well, that's what I'd expect. Now, put that in here. we have the actual boards. Right, last of all we actually have the OSD and the autopilot. Now looking at this, the autopilot is the bottom board connected to the autopilot with nylon risers. We have the current sensor, USB ports for configuring both the boards, connections, connections for the servos. I must say these servo connections and the other connections in and out of the board all look kind of a lot better quality than we find on the standard Chinese kit. The chip and the autopilot is an ARM. I can't actually read the small writing, but I'm sure that we don't need to know that. The quality of the board looks really cool. Really good. 
And if we turn it over on the bottom, if you can see that, it actually says made in Poland. So none of your cheap Chinese knockoffs, this is the real deal. Okay, I'll include some photographs at the end of this so you can have a better look. Uh, that's the end of this short unboxing really. And the next video you'll see this, I'm going to fit this into another uh, Falcon Evo FPV wing that we're buying from Rob. And this will actually be my wing, not the actual test bed. Cool, okay, and we'll see you next time.